Okay. Hello, guys. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, guys. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm good. Okay. Perfect. Good evening, guys. So, well, guys, let's wait a couple of minutes for the rest of your classmates to join, okay? Tenemos un, unos minutos para los demás to join, okay? Uh, guys, let me ask you, ¿quiénes ya terminaron the platform? Tell me, guys. Okay. Nice, nice, guys. Perfect. So that's cool, guys. So I hope you have passed, okay, all the platform with an excellent score, okay? And if you haven't finished, si no terminado, guys, do not worry, okay? We are going to try to finish, okay? Vamos a terminar, okay? So do not worry. Let's see. So guys, okay. do you Okay, abriendo Instagram. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Opening Instagram, that's very nice. So, well, guys... Do you have any question about um, a topic that we have seen? Yes, no. Tienen alguna pregunta? Yes, no. Vamos a continuar con el tema de show. Uh, the sí, creo que sí. Yeah, the should, yeah. Of course, guys, show. yeah. We are going to finish that topic today, okay? And we are going to see, okay, how to use it. And of course, the model verse. But let's wait a couple, okay, of minutes. Guys, let's see. Let me share you with you. Uh, I have here the platform. So, guys, I hope everybody has finished at least this unit, okay? Unit number five. Recordemos, chicos, que esta tiene que estar terminada a más tardar, uh, let's see, el día de hoy, right, guys? El día de hoy. Because tomorrow is Thursday. También recordemos que vamos a tener clases hasta el viernes, right, guys? So today we are going to try to finish this one, okay? This reading, okay, the last exercise. And besides that, guys, we have the exam, okay? So I guess everybody has finished the exam, right? Creo que todos, bueno, la mayoría terminó el exam, right? But do not worry. If you haven't finished, okay, we are trying to, you know, to solve some exercises, okay? But the exam is similar, guys. El examen es similar, okay? A lo que ya hemos visto, okay? So cool, guys. Now, let's see. Welcome for the ones that are joining. Welcome, guys. So today, let's start, you know, with the class. Let's see. So, guys, yesterday we were discussing about this topic. So we, uh, let me mute everybody, guys. Uh, you can only unmute, guys, if you have questions, okay? Or if you want to say something. Now, guys. Yesterday, we were talking about should and shouldn't, right, guys? Which means deberías o no deberías in Spanish, right? So, guys, we use should to give recommendation, okay? Recommendation, suggestion, advices, okay, to people, okay? Para dar recomendaciones, sugerencias, or consejos, right, guys? So... If you remember yesterday, we were discussing how to create a sentence. First, if the subject, okay? The subject, then should, and then we add the verb, right? So, for example, you should call him, okay? Esa es la forma positiva y negativa, guys. Es lo mismo el sujeto, pero en lugar de should, decimos shouldn't, okay? No vayan a decir you should, you don't should, okay? Yes, you shouldn't, okay, shouldn't, okay? Also, guys, how to pronounce this one? Very easy, guys. Vamos a pronunciar esta palabra, chicos, should, como que si no estuviera la L ni la O, okay? Should, así como se should, okay? Así lo vamos a estar pronunciando, okay? Y shouldn't, okay, shouldn't. Let me try to write it here for you, so probably you will have it. Let's see. So you, you can say, guys, like, shouldn't okay and negativo shouldn't okay like this one y positivo ustedes pueden decir should okay should okay guys that's how we pronounce it okay shouldn't negativo it should okay positivo so that means guys deberías right deberías so guys do we have any question about should or shouldn't tenemos alguna pregunta acerca de esto chicos yes no no teacher. No, okay. 
Very nice. Now, guys, because yesterday you were discussing where you were asking me when to use the personal object, okay? Sorry, the possessive object. So, guys, let's see. We are going to talk about subject and object pronoun, okay, guys? So, let's just start, you know, discussing what is this? What is the object pronoun? Guys, let's see. Primero, guys, tenemos el subject pronoun. ¿Cuál es el subject pronoun, guys? Son todos los pronombres que ustedes ya conocen. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they, right? Estos son los subject pronoun. ¿Y cuáles son los subjects? So, los objects son me, you, him, her, it, us, you, them, okay? If you see here, you also you have the pronunciation, me, you, him, okay? So, guys, what is the use of the object pronoun, okay? So, the object pronoun replaces, guys, the noun. In Spanish, the sustantivo, okay? So, en esto, chicos, el object pronoun reemplaza, okay, el objeto, okay, del verbo. En este caso, chicos, el object pronoun lo utilizamos como el sujeto que va a recibir la acción del verbo, ¿ok? Así que en la misma oración, si el contexto así lo dice, podemos tener un subject pronoun, right, in object. So, guys, tenemos, por ejemplo, esto. They play with me, ¿ok? Tenemos el verbo, ¿ok? With me, ¿ok? Ellos juegan conmigo, ¿ok? I need you. I need you. Te necesito, ¿ok? I need you. Este es el subject pronoun, ¿ok, guys? Porque la acción del verbo recae a esto, ¿ok? Al object. Subject son estos, ¿ok? Y el object son estos, ¿ok, guys? La acción del verbo, ¿ok? Recae en el object, ¿ok? Solo reemplazamos el, el noun, el sustantivo, ¿ok? Agregando el object. So, let's see, guys. Here we have some examples, ¿ok? So, let's see. But dice que entonces volvemos a hacer la aclaración que cuando un sujeto va a recibir la acción de un verbo, no debemos utilizar el subject pronoun, ¿ok? Debemos utilizar el object. So, guys, for example, una forma incorrecta es I give they money, ¿ok? I give they money, ¿ok? That doesn't exist, ¿ok? Eso es incorrecto. Es como que ustedes me dijeran um, They play with I. They play with I. Mm, no, guys, no se puede decir He talks to he, no, guys, no se puede decir, I call she, ¿ok? No se puede decir I call she, guys, porque es el subject, ¿ok? El subject pronoun no se pueden utilizar como objetos, ¿ok? Para eso existen los object pronouns, ¿ok? So, guys, in few words, we have to use this one after the verb, ¿ok? Después del verbo, utilizamos, ¿ok? Los object pronouns, porque la acción recae en ellos, ¿ok? No decimos I give the money, Decimos, I give them money. ¿Y qué es them? Here you have it, them, ¿ok? So, guys, here we have other one. Yo les doy a ellos dinero, ¿ok? I give them money. You see, guys? Now, como vemos en las oraciones de arriba, ¿ok? Vemos que utilizamos them, right? Give them. So, if you see here, we have other example. She fits me. She fits me, ¿ok? Yo no digo she fits I. Okay, she fits I. ¿Por qué? Porque ese es un subject, right? Estoy ocupando un object. She fits me, okay? Ella me alimenta, right? Ella me alimenta, okay? Tenemos otros ejemplos, guys. I cook for them. Yo cocino para ellos. Them significa ellos, right? You need us. Tú nos necesitas, okay? Us significa nosotros. En este caso, guys, sí. Si Ok, recordemos que en inglés, no necesariamente para hacer la traducción, chicos, tenemos que eh, darle el contexto, ok. Tú nos necesitas, ok. He talks to her. Él le habla a ella, right. Her, ella. She kisses him. Él lo besa, bueno, ella lo besa a él. Aquí es, es ella, right? ella lo besa a él. Him significa lo mismo que he, él, right, él. So the cat. Okay. Que en ese caso es reemplazado por it plays with me. Okay. El gato juega conmigo. Okay. With me, conmigo. Okay. With me. Now we wait for them. We wait for them. Nosotros esperamos por ellos. Okay. Them, ellos. Okay. They needed to survive. Ellos necesitan okay, agua para sobrevivir. Right? 
Now, guys, do we have an equation about this? Tenemos alguna pregunta de esto? Yes, no. Yes, no. Everything. Puede, is... puede eh, subirlo, teacher. Sure. Oh no, no, bajarlo. Okay. Here. Uh, más. Donde estaban los ejemplos de las oraciones. Ah, this one. Example. This one. Cuando acá en la que dice eh, al principio había puesto de la you need, eh, you, you need dice us. que yo Ajá, que yo lo necesito. Vaya, pero acá donde dice you need u. You need us. Es por, ajá, ese, por ese u, no entiendo. Es us, en lugar del us, us. significa nosotros, ok. So, aquí tenemos, ok. Dice we, ok, we es us, ok. El object pronoun de ajá. we es us, okay, que significa nosotros. She gave us money. Ella nos dio dinero. Ella, she gives, nos da dinero, ¿ok? Nos da. Estoy hablando okay. porque os es nosotros, ¿ok? Es nosotros. ¿Ok? okay. La traducción okay. de os. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yes. ok. Hoy sí entendí. Gracias, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. Any other question, guys? Yeah. No. Everything is clear, guys. No yeah. No question. No, no question. Okay. So, guys, this is, you know, this is something that you have to sing, okay, in the previous module, right? Algo que debemos de aprender a manejar, okay, guys? Because this is very important. In every sentence that you are creating, cada sentence que ustedes hacen, guys, recordemos que si la acción del verbo, okay, va a recaer siempre en los object pronouns, okay? Usted no puede decir, um, I need she, okay? Tienen que decir, I need her, okay? Object pronoun, okay, guys? Now, in order, well, let's see. I have here, okay, other examples. So, guys, además de los object pronouns, también tenemos, guys, los possessive adjectives, okay? So, guys, no los confundamos, okay? Los object pronouns son estos, ok? Me, you, him, her, it, us, them. Y los possessive adjectives, guys, son my, your, his, her, it's, our, and their, ok? So, los object pronouns irán siempre después del verbo, guys. Como por ejemplo, you don't like me, they hate us. Ellos nos odian, ok? Y también pueden ir después de una preposición. For example, I don't want to listen to her. No quiero escucharla, okay, a ella. We play with, with them. Jugamos con ellos. Okay, guys. So, tenemos subject pronoun, object pronoun, y los possessive adjectives, okay? Siempre hay que una comparativa aquí, okay? No hay que confundirlos, okay, guys? Now, let's see, guys. In order for me... To know that you know this topic, guys, we are going to make this exercise, okay, guys? So this exercise, you are going to do it individually, okay, guys? So I'm going to send you the link here in the chat box of Zoom and also to the WhatsApp group, okay, guys? So let's start doing this exercise about subject pronouns, okay? So let's start doing it, please, guys. Iniciamos haciéndolo, please. Ya tienen los links, so... You will see just 10, okay, interrogative. So you have to decide what is the correct one, okay, guys? So let's see. Let's just start doing it, please. Also, guys, I'm going to send you the link that we saw, okay? Le puedo enviar también el link, okay, de la página que estábamos viendo, okay, el grupo de WhatsApp, so you can have it for more information, okay? You can study as well.
Okay. Let's see who's going to be the first one to send it. Okay. Okay, so we have the first one. Okay, Michelle, excellent, Michelle. We have a 10 of 10. Cool, Mercosto. Okay, <laughs> nice. Now, let's see. Okay, I have here. Okay, Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn, nice. Okay, guys, excellent. Tell me. Okay, <laughs> let's see, guys. Okay, cool. What about the rest, guys? Do not worry, guys. We are learning, okay? This is the first exercise that we do, okay? El primer ejercicio que hacemos, así que it's okay. Okay, Sergio, very nice. That's cool. Okay, guys, let's see. For the ones that we have finished, okay? Let's try to do this exercise, okay, guys? Let's see. We have the first one. Rebecca is my best friend. I trust... Yes, guys? Hair. Hair, exactly. Why is her? Porque Rebecca is she, okay? Es ella, okay? Porque es ella, entonces, es her, right? Correct, exactly. I trust her. Now, Mark is a great singer. Mark is he, okay? You have to listen to... Him. Him, exactly. ¿Por qué? Porque el object pronoun de he es him, okay? Exactly. Now, I'm thirsty. Give some water, please. I, yo. Sí. Okay. Me. Exactly. Give me some water, please. Give me, give me. Dame un poco de agua, right? Give me. Exactly. Now, Lily and Natty are my classmates. I lied. Estoy hablando de yeah. dos, okay? Mm -hmm. Them. Them. Exactly. Now, we can help. We, okay? Tell what is the problem? Tell us. 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 Tell us, us, exactly. Tell us. Perfect. Now, guys. ¿Por qué, por qué es us, teacher? Porque dice okay. cuéntanos. Yeah. Okay. Aquí es, we can help you. Podemos ayudarte. Dinos, que okay, tell us. Dinos cuál es el problema, okay? Okay. En la oración tenemos we, okay? We. Siempre, okay? Tenemos que identificar quiénes están haciendo la oración. En este caso es we, nosotros, okay? We. That's why it's us, okay? We can help you. Podemos ayudarte. Dinos, okay? Dinos cuál es el problema. Got it? Okay, teacher. Okay. Now, John, John has got a dog. He loves it. Yes, yeah. love yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah. In este caso, dog es es it, verdad? Y el pronoun, el so object pronoun de it es it, okay? Es el mismo. Yeah. Así que no hay donde confundirse. Who are you? Do I know? Quién oh, eres? Yeah. Hmm? Who are you? Do I know you? Do yeah. I know you? Yeah. Exactly. Y you también es el mismo, okay? Personal and object. Now she's my grandma. Okay, and I love grandma. Yeah. Yes, grandma. Yeah. Yes, she. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Okay, 
Anne wants the cell phone. Anne, please give to her. Okay. Aquí, aquí está un poco complicado, right? Anne, Ana sí. quiere el teléfono. Por favor, dáselo. Por favor, dáselo. En este caso, the cell phone es it, ¿verdad? ¿Y cuál es el pronoun de, el object pronoun de it? Es it, right? Sí. Please give it to her. And the last one. Where are Nemo and Dory? I want to talk with them. With them, them. con ellos, right? Exactly. Okay, so we finished. Now, guys, let's see. Do you have any question about this? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de esto? Yes, no, a little bit. No. Everything's clear, guys? Yes? No. Okay. okay. I guess so, guys. Perfect. Now, let's see. Let's move on, guys, and let's discuss about and shooting, okay, guys? Yeah. So, yesterday, we were discussing about it, right? Ayer estamos discutiendo de esto, so let's put into practice, okay? So, what is the meaning of should in Spanish, guys? Should? Deberías. Deberías. Y shouldn't? No, deberías. No, deberías. ¿Para qué lo ocupamos, chicos? Okay. Sugerencias o recomendaciones. Exactly. Now we have this one. Tenemos you eat fast food. So, chicos, ustedes deberían o no deberían comer comida rápida. You should. Yeah. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Exactly. No, you should. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it depends, right? Now, guys, listen. You, ustedes deberían, chicos, ride a bike without a helmet. Deberían conducir una, una bicicleta sin casco. O no deberían. No, shouldn't. No, shouldn't. You shouldn't. Exactly. You shouldn't. shouldn't. Now, guys, you should or you shouldn't spend a lot of time playing for night. Are you sure? No, you shouldn't. Okay. No, shouldn't. You shouldn't. okay, exactly. Now, guys, he study more. He should study more or he shouldn't study more? Should. Should. Exactly. Now, you should or shouldn't listen to your parents? You should. You should. Exactly. Now, you should or shouldn't do a sport? Should. Should. Okay, should. You should or shouldn't tidy your room up? Limpiar su habitación, guys. Should. 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 Okay. Now, they should or shouldn't smoke, guys. Deberían oh. o no deberían fumar? Shouldn't. They shouldn't. Shouldn't. Exactly. Shouldn't. Now, you should or shouldn't tell lies. Decir mentiras, guys. Shouldn't. 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 Okay. Okay, you should or shouldn't play football in the street. Shouldn't. 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 Okay. And the last one, you should or shouldn't go to the bed late. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Okay, shouldn't. Yeah, no deberían ir a la cama. No. Not sure. Okay, excellent. So, guys, do you have any question about should? Yes, no? No. No, everything no. is clear, guys? Yes. Okay, excellent. So, now, guys, let's see. Let me give you, let's see. Uh, I have here, let me look for it. Uh... Okay, perfect. Now, guys, I'm going to share you an exercise, okay, about shooting, shooting. So this one, you're going to do it alone, okay? So let's see how good you are. I expect everybody get at them, okay, because this is a very easy exercise, okay? The shooting, shooting, no es tan complicado. Espero que la mayoría, okay, get a good score, okay? I expect a good score for everybody. Espero que todos saquen una buena nota, okay? So now, guys, you already have the link, okay? Ya tienen el link. In the WhatsApp group and here the chat boys. So you have to decide if it's should or shouldn't, okay? Like the previous one. Okay, it's like the previous one. So, 
Let's start, guys, please. Teacher, de Tell casualidad me. vamos vamos a hacer esa ese juego. Yes, Sagli, vamos a, a terminar ya. Es que me, sal, me, sal, me salí por mi internet, entonces ya no lo tengo en el grupo. Uh, está en el grupo de WhatsApp no, también. Envía el link ahí. Yeah. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Mm, let's see, I got... Okay, guys, let's see who's going to put the first one. Okay, let's see. Okay, I have Michelle. K9 of 11, K Christopher 11 of 11. Nice guys, perfect. So you see guys, it's not, I mean, too complicated, right? Okay, I have Sergio. Okay guys, nice. So what about the rest? We are uh, 14 today. One, two, three, four, okay. What about the 10 of you guys? Faltan días que envíen, okay, your answers. Okay guys. Hey Selma, okay, nice guys. Perfect. So, guys, do you have any question about this one? Yes, no. Tiene alguna pregunta de shouldn't, shouldn't? Yes, no. Okay. Everything's clear, guys. So, as I mentioned to you, it's not complicated, right? It's not complicated at all. This is one of the easiest topic, okay, that you will see. Esto es uno de los temas más fáciles de todos, okay, guys? El should y el shouldn't, okay? So it's just for giving, okay, advices, recommendations, or suggestions, right? Nice, guys. I can see everybody has sent it, okay? That's excellent. So let's see, guys. Uh, let me share you the screen, okay? Let's see. Guys, you know, today class, we are going, you know, to discuss some questions. Yes, guys. I have here, okay, some questions for you, okay? that you will help me, okay, to answer. But first of all, guys, we are going to answer these questions in groups, okay? So I'm going to create, let's see, okay. It's okay, these kind of groups, yeah. So guys, I'm going to divide you into groups, okay? Lo voy a dividir en grupos para que discutamos estas preguntas, okay? So please, I've set the invitation. I'm going to send you the, uh, the photo of these, okay, questions. But you can take a screenshot if you want or a photo as well. So let's see, let me take it for you. Okay. So guys, please accept the invitation and let's practice this question. Okay. So please tell me Anna Brenda. If you can, Jacqueline, if you can send the invitation, please.
Okay, tell me, Anna, Brenda, please, as an invitation. Yes, teacher. The invitation, la invitación para el group, please. Okay. Okay, welcome. Let's see. Let's wait for the rest to join. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's wait uh, for the rest to return to the main session now, guys. Let's see, I hope everybody, okay, has practiced this question because I'm going to ask you, okay, guys. So let's see, let's start with Cesar. Cesar, let me ask you this question. Should you go to the bed late? No, shouldn't. No, shouldn't? Oh, no, I shouldn't. No, but excuse me, no, I shouldn't. Okay, exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Cesar. Now, let's see. Uh, Laura, should you study on your day off? Um, not sure. No, shouldn't. Mm, no, I shouldn't. No, I shouldn't. Yeah, remember, guys, to add an I, okay? No, I shouldn't. Okay. Now, Selma, let me ask you this question. Should parents scold their kids? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, they should. Yes, they should. Okay. Okay, exactly. Thank you. Now, Tatiana, let me ask you this question. Why should you exercise? Um, I should do you my help. Mm. Sorry, one more time. I should mm -hmm. do for me help. Con por mi salud. Debería de hacer por mi salud. I should do it, okay, for my health, okay. Yeah, nice. Perfect. Now, uh, let's see, Christopher. Should you help your parents? Yes, yeah, I should. Okay, yes. Okay. Now, let's see, Evelyn. Evelyn, should you know your national anthem? Yes, I should. Okay. Guys, let me ask you. Everybody knows the national anthem? Yes, no? Todos se puede en el himno nacional, guys? Yes, no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. And what about la oración a la bandera, guys? Do you know it? Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Okay, nice. Yes. That's perfect. Cool, guys. Now, let's see. The last question is for Allison. Hello, Allison. Hello, teacher. Okay. Allison, how many times a day should you eat? Yes. And should mm -hmm. should eat three times per day. Okay. Should eat normally. Three okay. Thank you. Okay. Nice. Okay, guys. So well, I guess everybody understood this question. That's great, guys. Now let's see, guys. Now is your turn to create questions, okay? And sentences. Guys, on your notebook, your cell phone, computer, whatever you can write, we are going to do the next thing. We are going to make three sentences, okay? Using should in affirmative, three sentences in should in past, and three sentences using should in question, okay? So let's see three positive, sorry, three positive, okay? three negatives, okay, and three questions, okay, and all of them, guys, las mismas que hagan positivas, que no sean las mismas negativas, okay, traten de usar otros verbos, okay, so guys, vamos a hacer tres oraciones usando should, haciendo tres oraciones positivas, tres negativas y tres preguntas, got it, guys, got it, yes, okay. yes, yes, okay, guys, yes. Cool, guys. So let's start doing it, please. And if you have questions how to create it, please let me know. So let's start doing it, please. 
Okay, guys, let's see who's going to be the first one. The team. Okay, so come on, guys. Let's try to do it by your own, okay? Don't try to look for internet, okay? Try to do it by your own, okay? With your own knowledge, your own vocabulary, okay? Let's see. Okay. Okay, guys, come on. If you have questions, you can let me know, okay? It's in...
Okay, guys. Let's see who has finished. Let me see. Okay, nobody. Okay, guys. It's very easy, okay? Just three sentences using should, okay, in positive, three negative, and three questions. So come on, guys. Okay, have the first one. Okay, Cesar. Okay, I should study English. I should eat vegetable. You should draw every day. Okay. 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 Eat fast dinner. Mm, just the last one, Cesar is not with should. La última uh, is incorrect, okay? Remember to use should, okay? But the rest, they are okay, perfect. Okay, very nice. So what about the rest, guys? Come on. Let's see, guys. I want to see, okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I want to see, guys, if you can create a sentence, okay? Hurry up, please. Let's see, because we have something else to see. Okay, have Michelle. Let's see. I should eat three times a day. I should do exercise for my good health. Okay, I should drink water every day. I shouldn't sleep. I shouldn't shower. Okay, I should fast. We should I do my homework. Okay, excellent, Michelle. That's excellent. Cool. Everything is okay. Nice. Okay, guys. So what about the rest, guys? Come on. Come on, guys. I want to see okay, how good you are in this topic, okay? Come on, guys. Come on. Okay, Roberto. Okay, you should call her. Nice. You should eat dinner. I should see uh, the doctor. You shouldn't run in the hallway. You shouldn't cook. It's um the you shouldn't cook it on no lleva el es okay you shouldn't cook it solo it why should call him okay should they dress them uh red should they dress the red mm, the la segunda pregunta is not correct should you to swing with is swimming in the river. Should you swim? Solo quitemos en la última el tú. Should you swim in the river? Okay. Y recordemos agregar la question. Okay. Roberto, la. El signo de interrogación al final. Alexandra. Thank, thanks, okay. teacher. You're welcome. Should you study teacher, teacher, many times in the park? Teacher, en la segunda. En la, uh, yep. <laughs> Excuse me. En la segunda pregunta, entonces no se puede decir eh, should, the, should they dress the red? ¿Cómo sería entonces la manera correcta? Es de decir, sí. ellos no deben vestir de rojo. Ah, ellos no deben vestir de rojo. Should they dress uh, in red sería entonces oh, vestir de deben... rojo. Should they dress in red? Uh -huh. Cambiamos el de por el in, uh... in red. Okay, now let's see, Thanks, Tommy, teacher. you're welcome. Should you study many times in the park? Should she sing in the school? Sing, recordemos, let me, should she sing, sing, cantar? Should you go to the gym? Go, go to the gym, go. Negatives, you shouldn't study in the park, you shouldn't go in the, you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't see, ah, uh, you shouldn't sing in the school. Mm, la, she shouldn't sing in the school here. It's not correct. That's not correct. Uh, she shouldn't sing in the school. So let's say she, she shouldn't so sing in the school. school. Yeah. You shouldn't uh, sing. Sing her teacher. Exactly. Sing. Uh, uh -huh. him. Uh, let's see. It. You shouldn't gym him. Um, what did you say? You shouldn't gym him. Eh, no debería ir al gimnasio. 
you shouldn't go to the gym. Okay, you shouldn't go ah. to the gym. Mm -hmm. If possible, you should study in the park. She should sing in the school. Okay, nice. The rest is nice. Okay, guys. Okay, I cannot check everybody's, but I will check it. Okay, lo voy a chequear later. Okay, guys. Because we have to move it. Okay, tenemos que movernos, guys. So, well, guys, for today's class, if you see my screen, we are going to talk about modal verbs. Okay, modal verbs. Okay. Los modal verbs, guys, es algo que ustedes van a ver, ¿ok? Frecuentemente, ¿ok? Son auxiliares, ¿ok? And is, it is most to be a must that you learn, ¿ok? Tienen que saber esto, ¿ok? So, guys, let's see. Probablemente uno de, de los que ustedes ven aquí ya los conocen ustedes, right, guys? So, let's start. We have must, can, could, may, might, should, or oughta, would, or will. Guys, those are modal verbs, okay? So let's see. Let's start with the first one, must. So cuando utilizaremos must, guys? It's for obligation and certain, okay? So must in Spanish is like debes, okay? Debes. So for example, you must stop when lights turn red. Debes detenerte cuando las luces se ponen rojas, okay? Está hablando del semáforo, right? Cuando las luces se ponen rojas, debes. You must, debes, okay? Es una obligación. He must be tired due to the overwork. Él debe estar cansado debido al exceso de trabajo, okay? Es algo con certeza que se sabe, right? He must be tired, okay? Must es debes, okay? Debes, okay? Now, guys, we have can. Can, guys, you know can, right? We see it. It's for ability and permission, right? For example, I can swing. Can I use your phone, please? Okay. So, para esto ocupamos can, right? Ahora tenemos could. Okay, could. No pronunciamos ni la O ni la L, guys. Could. Okay, could. Okay. So, what is could, guys? Do you know what is could in Spanish? Do you know, guys? Yes, no? No sé si es podría. Exactly. Yeah. So, exactly, guys. So, could, en pocas palabras, podría ser quizás el pasado de can. ¿Por qué? Porque can es poder, ¿ok? Y could es podría, ¿ok? Podría, I could. So, could lo utilizamos también para ability and permission, ¿ok? Pero hablamos del pasado cuando utilizamos could. Can es el presente y could es el pasado de can, ¿ok? So, when I was younger, I could run fast. Cuando era más joven, ¿ok? Estoy hablando del pasado. I could run fast. Podía, ¿ok? Podía correr rápido. Excuse me, también para permissions, guys. Excuse me, could I just say something? Disculpen, ¿podría decir algo? Podría, ¿ok? Podría decir algo. Could I just say something? Could is very formal, ¿ok, guys? Para pedir algo, chicos, could es un poco formal, ¿ok? Now, we have may. May, you can translate it, okay, like, for example, es como poder, right? So, may I go to the bathroom, please? You remember? May I go to the bathroom, teacher? Okay. So, may. Es como puedo, right? Solo utilizamos para possibility and permission, okay? It might rain tomorrow. Puede que llueva mañana, right? Puede que llueva mañana. May I use your phone, please? Puedo utilizar tu teléfono, please? So, may, guys, this is very formal, okay? Este es bastante formal, okay? Cuando ustedes usen may, es porque ustedes son bastante formales, okay? Cuando están hablando con una persona formalmente, right? So, may I go to the bathroom? May I use your cell phone? May I know where is the, okay? It might, guys, might, así como could es el pasado de can, might es el pasado de may, okay? So, might, we use it for possibility and permission. I might go on holiday to Fiji next year, okay? So, puede que vaya en holiday a Fiji, okay? For permission, may I suggest an idea? Es como, podría sugerir una idea? Uh, nos envía el link al grupo, please. Okay, guys, I will send you this link, okay? So you can have it, okay? Let's see. Now, guys, además de eso, 
we have something else. We have should. So should es lo que hemos estado hablando, okay, guys? Should, as you know, es debería, right? Pero hay otra forma que podemos decir should. Esta, este no es formal, okay, chicos? Es ora, okay, ora. Okay, ora significa lo mismo, deberías, right? Sin embargo, ora es algo no tan formal, okay? So you can pronounce it like um, ora, like, yeah, like ora, like this one, ora. You ora, for example, you should revise your lessons. Debe, deberías revisar tus lecciones. You ora revise your lessons. Deberías, okay, revisar tus lecciones, okay? So, ora, okay, o tu, okay, ora, okay, así, así chicos como lo pronuncian, o tu, o tu, ora, okay, ya con el tu incluido, okay, okay, lo utilizamos para eso, sí, sí. ya, ¿cómo dijo que sería completo pronunciado? O tu, o tu, o tu, ya, o tu, ya, es lo mismo, ora, ora, you ora, okay, revise your lace. You oughta be very tired, okay? Ora. But guys, as I mentioned to you, this is, you know, this is for you to, to know, okay, this one. No, it's, it's not common, okay? Yes, más que todo, quizás un poco de tired, right? So should is, you know, more useful and formal, okay? So I recommend you to use should. Now, guys, tenemos would, okay? La previous class, we use would, remember? La class anterior vimos would, okay? And will. So, would guys, we use for prediction and request. So, I would be surprised if he's not selected. Estaría sorprendido, right? So, would is como el iría, right? You remember? And let's see. We also have this one, okay, guys? This is other, right? So, you can see here in Spanish. Let me share you this one as well, okay? Dejen también compartirles este so you can have it, right? Uh, this is, you know, not like, um, how can you translate it, right? A lo mejor quizá, must, should, shall, guys. Shall es como will, okay? Es como will, okay? Or would, okay? Es algo que se utiliza no tan seguido, pero yeah. Now, guys, let's see. I want to put you into practice, okay? I have here, okay, this little quiz for you, okay? But due to the time, we cannot do it, okay? So let me send you to you here on the chat box of soon and as well to the WhatsApp group, okay? Let's see, it's 54. So guys, this exercise, okay, you can do it, okay? You can do it after the class. Let's see, yeah, we can stop right here. So guys, este ejercicio, okay? Le va a quedar para que lo hagamos, esto ya... Cinco minutos antes que se acabe la clase, okay? So you could finish. So, oh, something extra, guys. I didn't mention to you. So, para esto, chicos, let's see. Uh, el pasado de must, guys, sería mustn't, okay? Mustn't, let's see. Es como the shouldn't, right? Mustn't, okay? It's like this one. Mustn't, okay? El pasado de must. No deberías. You mustn't, okay? ¿Cuál creen que sería el pasado de could, guys? De could. Call. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? So, guys, el pasado de could sería mm. couldn't. Couldn't. Exacto, couldn't. So, let's see. So, tenemos esto. Quiero decir, my es my not. My not. Solo se le agrega el not. Might es lo mismo, might not. Shouldn't, okay. Uh, ahora no. Um, and that's would, wouldn't. Esto ya se lo pueden, right? Solo estos creo que no se lo sabían, must y could. So, el, el negativo de must, mustn't. El negativo de could, couldn't. Okay, guys? So, well, let's see, guys. Uh, you have this exercise, guys, okay? This exercise, right now you have the links. So let's see, you can, guys, you can get disconnected, okay? We can finish the class here and you can finish the exercise, okay? You can send it to the WhatsApp group, okay? With the score, okay, guys? So, well, guys, it was nice to see you today and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? So tomorrow we are going to continue, okay? Checking a little bit about this model, okay, guys? 
And also we are going to finish unit five on the platform. So guys, it was nice to see you and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? So good night, guys. Take care. Good night, teachers. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.